Hello friends, welcome again to my YouTube channel. Today the problem that we are going to discuss is matrix diagonal sum problem number 1572 of lead code. Before starting, if you are new to the channel or if you are watching this video first time, please don't forget to subscribe and share among your friends. Also do watch this video till end because it will clear your all doubts regarding matrix. So let's get started. Let's read out the problem description first. Given a square matrix, return the sum of matrix diagonals. Only include the sum of all the elements on the primary diagonal and all the elements on the secondary diagonal that are not part of the primary diagonal. Read out the example to make it clear of this statement. So matrix can be of any like 2 cross 2 or 3 cross 3. 2 cross 1 also it is not a square matrix so the primary diagonal it is showing something like this 1 5 and 9 and the secondary diagonal is 3 5 and 7 now if we try to sum them 1 plus 5 plus 9 plus 3 plus 7 so here we are ignoring 5 that is part of both primary and secondary so we don't have to sum it two times right so here you can see notice that the element equal to 5 is counted only once right so for this our program should return 25 likewise there are some other examples let's go to the blackboard for it yeah so here you can see we have two examples one is of 2 cross 2 and other is of 3 cross 3 and once again it, it is not given in the problem that it can be a square matrix it can be of any m cross n so what will be this element it will be 0 0 this element will be 0 1 this will be 1 0 and finally this will be 1 1 likewise there is 0 1 and 2 here also we will put 0, 1 and 2. This will be 0, 0. This is 1, 1. This is 2, 2. Right. And this will be 0, 2. 1, 1 and 2, 0. So friends, you can see some similarities. You can see with these two examples, this both are equal right 0 0 1 1 2 2 3 3 4 4 right so if we iterate our 2d matrix and if we say this is uh, i and this is j then we can say that our i double equals to j will form the primary diagonal so now we found our way to calculate the primary diagonal so when we iterate our 2d matrix and when we have i is equals to is double equals to j then we will found our primary diagonal right now likewise is there some math logic with this secondary diagonal you can see so let's drive that so we can see 0 1 then 1 0 Right. this is for the 2 cross 2 now 0 2 plus 1 1 plus 2 0 this is for 3 cross 3 now let's see let's see the pattern so here you can see i is increasing 0 1 right so i is increasing till n minus 1 if you can see here if we say this is n and this is m right so our i is varies from 0 till n minus 1 i value and what is j value <coughs> 
j value is decreasing right it was first n minus 1 and then it comes to the 0 right so this is the combination if you can see here also 0 1 2 2 1 0 what was n here n was 3 right so if n is 3 how i will be increasing 0 1 then 2 and if m is 3 how j will be decreasing it will be 2 1 and 0 right now how we will check if this combination occurs so when i is 0 j is n minus 1 now this we have to derive i in terms of j right so here you can see j is equals to n minus i so we have to move j here and i here right so what it, it will be it will be i is equals to n minus j right so this will be our other condition to find the secondary diagonal now when we have for our primary so this is for the primary and if i double equals to n minus j this is for the secondary diagonal right but so in both the conditions we are counting this middle element also right for the n cross n right so if we can say if this executes then this shouldn't be and if this execute then this shouldn't be right so we can put this in if and else if block so that if this condition occurs then this won't occur so that we can avoid the double count of this 5 in the example let's look into the code so that you can get better understanding there so here we will first take one variable which we will return as the answer so diagonal sum we will return which will be having the sum of both primary and secondary diagonal right now we will write the logic to traverse the matrix and this will be so what i am doing here this i is iterating till the column length right 0 1 2 so there are three columns and it will iterate 0 1 2 right for this example one so let's let's take this also into one variable for the row iteration and this will be our j and this will get iterate till mat of i dot length right let me tell you so mat of i right mat of i is let's say this uh, we are talking about this zeroth right so this will go till sorry this was for the row the outer loop was for the row and the inner loop is for the column now we have to write that condition if i double equals to j okay then what we will do we will update our diagonal sum and do diagonal sum plus mat of i j so this condition is for the primary diagonal similarly we will write for secondary diagonal cool so here we will so i hope this should work and at last we should return our diagonal sum oh sorry cool you can also write something like this shorthand operator we can use i try to run this code okay it's showing wrong answer i might have done some mistake Let's see hmm. 
okay length minus one yes so length i'm taking mat dot length it should be mat dot length minus one because we are considering from zero now let's try to run hmm. again we should take mat dot length yeah cool so it is accepted try to submit this code yeah so you can see so yes friends that's it for today i will be providing the problem and solution links into the description also if you want to join you can join us on telegram i will post the link into the description because we are uploading many study materials there and also we are doing daily quiz competitions there